Hello friends, welcome to my next research video. You are with me, Professor Raju Shekhar. I am here to teach you research. I have been sharing my experiences for the last one and a half years with a lot of videos. And I am so happy to note that it is getting benefited by a lot of novice researchers. Thank you for your support and uh, I am so happy that uh, you people are finding it very useful. Today, I have come out with a very interesting uh, uh, topic, an important topic. Uh, many uh, people have commented that, sir, how to write PhD synapses and how to prepare that, they asked me. Just um, uh, uh, this video, I'll give you the step-by-step -step guideline about how to prepare PhD synapses. First of all, what is PhD synapses? See, synapses is kind of uh, yeah, abstract information about your thesis. What are you going to do? What are you going to present in your PhD entire thesis? You will be giving to the university. You will be submitting to the university and in a, in a condensed form. It's a kind of a PhD. You can call it as kind of abstract version of your thesis number one. And is there any fixed format for PhD synapses writing? More or less, yes, but still you can't say it's a fixed version because it may differ according to the university. Always rely on the university requirement, whatever they say, please follow their style exactly. But however, let me give you some general, general, generic style, which, is, which will be applicable to most of the universities. Number one, first thing in the PhD synopsis, a title page. A title page should contain the title of your PhD thesis. Whatever the thesis you have taken, you have to write a proper title. Then guided by, you know, the partial submission, the university name and your guide name and your name and the university name. And normally, you will have the first title page for the PhD thesis. Same page you have to use. In the original thesis, you will be mentioning as a thesis. Here, you will be mentioning as a synopsis. This is number one. Number two, you need to have a content page. Content page, as if you are giving to the original thesis, similarly you have to give the content page with probably, if you, in case you use tables and figures, you have to go with that thing, otherwise introduction. And, and, and kindly follow this, this is the main pattern. Introduction, literature review, after that research gap, Research, research gap, after that research objectives and research questions, in case if you have hypothesis, hypothesis, then research methodology, then proposed analysis, because you will not be presenting the entire analysis in your synopsis, you will be telling them proposed analysis, then findings, what is the tentative findings probably you have done, you can take one or two examples you can give there. And finally, references and in case you have any appendix, you have to give the appendix. I have given nine, sorry, this is the nine, right? You have the nine things you have to add it add into the synopsis. We will see one by one quickly. Introduction, you need to have minimum uh, probably two to three pages. It depends upon the page requirement of your university. You give, you start from a broad outline. Then come to the uh, uh, specific uh, outline, then exactly introduce your topic. Let me repeat, broad outline, it's kind of permit structure, no? inverted permit structure, broad outline, then it has to come, uh, what do you call, the, yeah, it has to come like this, no, it is, it is to be like this, from the broad, then it is to come narrowed down to the specific, then introducing the exact your topic. Next, you need to have a literature review. Whatever the important paper you have reviewed, because you will not be able to present the entire review in the synopsis. So, key reviews you have to identify, you have to add, that also can run up to two to three pages. You mention important, uh, assume that you have done 50 to 100 reviews for your thesis. From that 100 or 50, you select maybe 10 or 15 reviews for your synopsis. You highlight those reviews and arrange the reviews in a chronological order or thematical order. After the reviews, very important thing, research gap, because you need to tell them after conducting the review, how did you identify, how did you zero down to your, or zero into the original research problem. That's what your research gap. You need to tell them, why did you select this area, how it became suitable to you. That's what research gap. 
and after the research gap then you will be writing the uh, research objectives because after establishing the gap then you are going with your uh, research then you need to tell them research objectives probably you need to be very clear about objectives three to four objectives then based on the objective if you have research questions you can give otherwise no problem research question hypothesis it will be there in some this is something only they will work with only research objective they will go ahead whatever it may be you can you decide whichever the style you are following after this research objective you need to tell them exactly in the research methodology there is a big chapter research methodology where you need to tell them about primary sources secondary sources in case if it is a literary research if it is a quantitative research you need to tell them the data collection method who is your samples how to do what kind of sampling style you have used and and no how are you going to collect those data and all those things should be given in detail that's what research methodology in the research methodology you need to add theoretical framework as well as conceptual framework also what kind of theory you are going to use what kind of conceptual framework you have planned and how are you going to take about those things also you need to clearly mention after this research methodology then comes proposed analysis probably you can give one sample analysis from your thesis in case you have done uh, you know for example five to seven analysis you can take one sample and you can present it in the uh, what you call the analysis section you can tell that this is how you are going to propose the entire thing probably you will use statistical tool called SPSS or some other theoretical analysis whatever you do in the analysis sector a chapter you need to mention a brief analysis because you are not giving the entire thing just you are giving sample after that finally you have to give a findings what are the major findings from your research you can present it it is subject to slightly change when you write original thesis but it, it no major thing should be given there as a finding after the findings obviously you will have references then you will have in case you have used appendix you have to use it clearly so this is the format you need to follow for the what you call a uh, synopsis writing and you have to you can't write synopsis without completing your phd sorry what i mean by completing without completing your phd research research means there is a different phases first you will complete then only you will start writing it right in case certain phase of research is pending you will not be able to prepare a synopsis because synopsis is the complete overall picture about thesis so you should have completed your research work but you may you could have not completed writing the thesis but still you should know what is the entire overall picture about your thesis then only you will be able to prepare proper synopsis if you try to no let me write thesis later let me prepare synopsis no i would generally advise you almost you write your entire thesis no you get it ready then you prepare a synopsis that will be much much easy you can submit synopsis normally universities ask you to submit within ten, one month if you get ready with the entire thesis then prepare synopsis then after submitting synopsis within 10 to 15 days you can submit thesis entire process will be over but if you prepare uh, if you write synopsis well in advance before preparing the thesis there may be a lot of changes will happen then finally you will land into a trouble why what is the need of synopsis see let me very very important thing whatever the synopsis you are submitting that synopsis only will be used by the research office to initially to send to the examiners you will be giving the examiners both in the uh, country examiner and the foreign examiners indian examiner foreign examiners they'll give it to them so first they'll read only your synopsis if your synopsis after looking at your synopsis only examiner decides whether to accept your thesis to evaluate or not so make sure that it is very essential document you try to condense the things clearly and take a lot of time and prepare proper synopsis so that you will not land into the wrong way because if the synopsis is not good probably some examiner may reject you they may not be able to accept you so sometimes they may he may be really good examiner but because of your poor writing of synopsis you may lose the chance so better you make sure that you follow, follow all these properly then after that thoroughly verify uh, all the data clearly whether you have given or not generally after preparing the synopsis report you will be presenting the synopsis in you know, probably to your dc member a doctoral committee panel and they'll give some suggestions probably from the whatever you have presented that suggestion you can incorporate in your original thesis because you are ready for submission the so synopsis means you are ready for submission of thesis that's what you are indicating to them so when you say that these are the things i'm going to do 
the DC member, doctoral committee members, they may uh, they, you know, appreciate your good work. They may criticize certain things, what you need to add or you know, to remove. So, that will be a wonderful input for you to uh, you know, incorporate in your thesis and finally everything will be ready. I hope I have given a detailed analysis about, detailed idea about how to write a synopsis and follow this. And if you are really like this particular video, please give me thumbs up and share my video to a lot of people, let them get benefited. That's what I will be very happy about. In case you want to do something, share the, this video to somebody else and hit the like button, then I'll, I'll catch you in the, some other video. Bye-bye.